Hey everyone, welcome back to Little Hope, and I've got bad news for your- What the? What's going on? <laughs> okay, never mind, it's just I had a little hiccup there. Oh, it, it enters you into a cutscene if you're idle. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, bad news, folks. So I actually played 30 more minutes into this game, and I had a crash. So, you know, that's just- that's just what happens sometimes. I've actually had, you know, crashes when I play, like, with my other playthroughs. So you just gotta believe me. You're just gonna have to believe me when I say I'm starting over again. Not because I made some crazy choices, although I will be changing some choices that I did make now that I had the fortune of a crash. I guess you could call it that. So what happens is now I'm just replaying this old chapter. I'm just starting us here from where we, la from where we last left off on the last video. Last. Last, last. So, yeah, uh, for the next 30 minutes, I've pretty much seen what I need to see, but I will progress the story for y'all who haven't seen it, in case, you know, don't want, you, you don't want y'all to miss anything. I don't want to supercut something that, you know, hasn't been shown before, so. This is what the trial was all about. People being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe Simon Carver might be the bus driver. You know, there, there seems to be an older version of a lot of certain characters, certain people, and we haven't seen a reincarnation or a doppelganger of Carver in our present time. So I'm starting to think that might be the case, uh, that Carver is the bus driver. I mean, who knows? Maybe he is. I don't know. Also, I will probably be cutting a lot of this video probably at the 25-minute mark. I don't know. I, I think to, the best way to avoid... The, the kind of crash I got was like a fatal error. A low-level fail error, and that's usually a graphical issue. I think the best way to avoid that is just to stop the recordings, you know, uh, sooner than I than I did before. But anyways, let's get to back to the game, shall we? I, Mary Milton, confess the truth of the wickedness I have witnessed. Before the Sabbath day, Mistress Amy did, by the ash tree, commune with Black Samuel, a spirit in the form of a dog that spoke with the voice of a man. Then she spun three times around and agreed to serve the spirits and deliver the children of the village to it. Then she made a puppet and placed a spell upon it to curse those who would oppose her. These are drivers, these are divers foul things I have seen. 25th of February, 1692, Simon Corver, X, hugs and kisses. I think, okay, so we have to think of it as terms of like, it's the opposite. The opposite is true, right? Because what we've learned from, or at least, you know, based from the lore that we've seen, a lot of these magics can be two-sided. They can be seen as something vile and something evil or something as a protection or a ward or something of good fortune. I think in this case, the puppet is used um, as, you know, quote unquote evidence to be like, this is black magic, this is vile, this is evil. But I think what we've learned is that really it's more of a child's plaything, right? Or even, I don't know, I want to say it's, it's like a protection of some kind. I don't think it's bad. The reason why I say this is because um, having played this before, we're going to get an option as to what to do with the poppet that's here. Hold on, so we'll, we'll enter the scene. Just want to make sure I got everything. Yeah, okay, I think I got everything. So before we move on, let's go ahead and check this out so I can give you guys a better idea of what I'm talking about. So the enclosed poppet or doll is thought to have originally belonged to a child hey, in the late 16th century. Take a look at this. I've seen this before. Where? On the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up, right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, damn, we're tied. Tied, we're timed. Skeptical this could be fake. Did she lead us here? You think she maybe led us here? Wanted us to see this? Hmm, so they're gonna want to take this. Let's take a proper look. What the hell, Professor? There are many, many stories about how spirits can attach themselves to objects. Sure, in movies. Take it easy, will you? What if Mary's spirit is somehow attached to this thing? We burn it, and this could all end right here. No, this is... well, no, yeah, so I'm gonna say no. Look at it another way. 
Maybe by burning her precious things, it's just gonna piss the kid off. You might be right. So anyways, yeah, this was an opportunity to actually take the poppet and I think destroy it. I haven't moved that far on to see if that would be a possibility. But I didn't want to take the poppet because if you remember, there was an instance where um, the sister actually grabbed the poppet from Megan. So, I mean, it's going to come into play somehow. I mean, whether I'm supposed to take it or not, I don't know what the result is because I only played 30 more minutes into this. So, we'll see how that develops. Oh, yeah, and uh, everything says ready for transfer, right? Uh, courtroom illustration. An engraving depicting a courtroom in which the child behaves as if she is possessed. The courtroom illustration could have been from Amy's trial. Uh, yeah. Pretty much. So everything says ready for transfer. I think that's an important detail because that might be in reference that a lot of these things were going to be moved. And um, they just were not moved in time. So something happened that probably everyone had to leave right away. If we are to assume that this place is an actual place and not just a, a figment of Andrew's imagination or someone else's imagination. Um, and then there's this. We go, we pull this. You can see that it's you know, showing a bit of the outside. And then this. Gotcha. Get you with the jump scares. Got him. I know. Well, look, uh, if it's any consolation, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't jump the first time I saw it either, so. If anything, I was just replaying my old emotes. Uh, yeah, so is that all I wanted to say? I'm trying to think back what I said. Yeah, it's. This it's... is the same trial we saw back in the police station. Yeah. Disturbing me alike. You know, it's kind of hard to think back to what I said before. Before the, the, you know, my save. Not my save, but the uh, recording corrupted. But I think I said all I wanted to say. So, yeah, they're ready for transfer. A lot of these paintings are going to be moved. The fact that they're not moved tells us that something happened in a hurry. There's a lot of mannequins here. Mannequins we saw in the past um, resembled there. So that tells us that the, the past is not really the past. There's, there's some blending. There's some conflation of realities that is happening. What else? The poppet uh, could be seen as um, proof of, you know, uh, satanic or demonic some things. I don't think it is. That's why I decided to leave the poppet where it was because I didn't want them burning it. I don't think that that helps because I think that plays... If we are to assume that the past isn't real, right, because there's so many um, inconsistencies, then grabbing the poppet and burning it would only... Uh, it would only encourage us to create the imagination that that past is real, if that makes any sense. Anyways, let's progress the story. We can get out this way. Where did that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. Job done. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, and I also think a lot of this is a test. I think what the little, the little girl that we're seeing or, you know, those people who kept pulling us into their past, quote-unquote past, their realities, is sort of a test of what we would do. Why we're being tested, I don't know. Who's testing us, I don't know. But I think the moment we find out more about Megan and her parents the clearer the image will be. Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. So yeah, I mean, I guess the only good thing about uh, this crash is that I can change, I think, one or two choices that I made with these two, with our tender, loving couple here. You hear that? Maybe. Heard something, not sure what. Guys? Professor? That you in there? Stop goofing around. Can we just get out of here?
Where the hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could be. Angela's got no interest in finding me. That's for sure. She's got a mean streak, all right. But she's got some heart. You sure about that? Yeah. Known her for a long time. Longer than any of you. She's been through some real shit. But she's still got a soft side. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I just had to stick around here for a bit because I just hate that she notices something or they both notice something in the sewer and they're really not interested in sticking around to do something about it. Like, that just seems blatantly criminal. But also, um, so yeah, we just got some dialogue there with Daniel that he knows her in some way. He's known her longer than he's known his girlfriend or that he knows her well enough that uh, he can make some judgment calls about her. To me, that's a little, that's a little like, okay, what, what are you talking about? Like, there was no sense of relationship that you two had. All right. Ten bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still, first place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life. Like, are they dating? Are they friends? Like, what is the relationship he has with Angela? None of that is really made clear, and we're just supposed to assume that it is, which is like, okay, that tells me one or two things. That tells me, um, you know, they just had dialogue just to have dialogue. But it also, what I think it means as well is that this could be just archetypes or caricatures of a single person. They don't really necessarily have a past in terms of being part of a creative writing class. Rather, they're referring to different moments or periods uh, of times that is not in this reality. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, like, there's no, there's no sense of a prior relationship is all I'm saying. Also, what's up with Taylor and, like, anybody? Taylor or, or and, and Angela, like, breaking and entering, breaking and entering. Like, this place is abandoned. You're not breaking and entering anything. You're simply walking in. It's like, are you, are you a burglar in your past life? Like, what are you talking about? This is literally in our way. We just have to walk through it. You know? There's no one else here but us. Yeah, so if you noticed, that um, interaction had a, a play button. A play button? But like a, a fast forward kind of, yeah, those, um, those signs, right? But when you do this... <coughs> Not getting through this way. Nothing happens. It's locked. Um, if you might have noticed earlier, there was an interaction that we could have done with the window here. Um, what happened before, uh, when I played this the first time, was I actually went to the door. It was locked. And then this appeared. And then it showed, you know, the fast forward sign. But it was also locked. Then it showed the climb interaction. So I think that's kind of interesting in that in terms of a game develop like in a, a game interaction, we kind of assume that these fast forward signs mean to progress a story and then, you know, say la vie, that's it. But now what they're doing is like, oh, you can't really trust that, you know, because it can just by clicking these uh, interactions could unlock something else rather than that interaction being the end all be all. So I think that's kind of interesting. So they might be kind of fooling us into, you know. Hey, Taylor, check this out. Check what out? Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah. And that's 10 bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat. I never took the huh. bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. We can have a big powwow about who goes in first, but we both know what's gonna happen. Right. Sure thing. You first, Encino man. <sighs> Whoa, what the? What? That's. Oh, shit. Easy now, tough guy. Don't beat up the scary doll. Funny. Get your ass in here.
Come on, this way. These things look so real. They're freaking me out. What's up? I just... I just saw something. Okay, well, wait for me. Don't go it alone. JK, JK. Where the hell are you going? She goes it alone. Isn't that crazy? You sure this is a good move? Nope. Like, why doesn't she just wait for me? And I'd follow right behind her if it wasn't for this. God, it's so hard to keep these people alive. Like they're going out of their way to put themselves in reckless, reckless danger. Okay, so, okay, I don't want to get turned around. That's where we came from. Back there's a secret, but I want to try to rush this first. Where are you? Um, she's in here, I think. Oh, she's not. Is that you, Taylor? Huh. Weird, weird, weird. Is she in this room? No, no, not that, you idiot. The door. Taylor! You okay? What's going on? Use your feet. Why does no one kick the door open? What happened? I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? Speaking funny? Okay, we all know this is it's British. You know, we know it's from the British Isles. Sorry I wasn't there for you. This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Let's get out of here. I hear that. Like, why are these characters so hard-headed? Like, why can't they make that connection? Obviously, their accent is British. They, why can't they make that connection? Why is it so hard for them to posit some of those ideas? Like, the, by doing that, it would help you... Okay, yeah, I'm not doing this. So this was a choice um, I had before where I actually took the knife. I won't be taking the knife this time. I found a knife. Maybe it was a knife once. When dinosaurs roamed the earth. Think we should bring it along? Here, you take it. Uh, why? It's obvious, dummy. Self-defense. Oh, shoot. Just the act of picking it up. Oh, I thought I could drop it. Um, you know what? If, if I'll just give it to her. You take it. You know, just in case. I was hoping just to examine it, just to, you know, get the prompt out of the way. But, uh, turns out she's getting it anyway, so that choice I was making didn't change anything. But yeah, like, it's so hard for them to make those conclusions. Like, come on, y'all. Like, obviously. Obviously from, they're from another time. Obviously they're, they're British. Like, obviously that accent is from the past. Like, the, the, the easier you can make that connection, the better that it, you know... You can decipher what's going on. And that's why I think that these characters are not... I mean, I'll say, like, I don't think they're actually real. They must exist in someone else's mind. So if you remember, it, this was the 799 uh, book that was green. Now it's the Bible. It's... Oh, 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 I didn't even know you could turn the page. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me read the first page. 
All right, it says, the elements being far from their accustomed places, the homogeneous parts are dislocated. It is possible to resolve each into elementary form. A line is produced by displacement of a point. It must be the same here, body, soul, and spirit, the monis hieroglyphica, the three magic of the first fathers. And what does this say? I didn't know you could turn the page here. Uh, Sigillum de Amat, Amat, Amit, far from their accustomed displacement of a point. So these are just separate realities, and they're searching to be one, I think, one reality. I think is what it's trying to infer. Okay, let's see if I can try to turn this page. No, I cannot. Okay. But yeah, so these are just different points in time. There is one reality, and the, what we're playing in right now is maybe a red herring in itself, and it is is within Andrew's mind. It would. It is weird, though, you know, that if if in the past, right, uh, the, the Little Hope passed, the Salem Witch Trials passed, these two, Taylor and Daniel, were brother and sister, I think, right? If I'm remembering correctly, they were brother and sister. And in the 70s, they were also brother and sister, but in this reality, they're actually a couple. Like, what is that supposed to mean? Oh, yeah, and this is a secret that uh, if you walk backwards, you will find. Someone burning at the stake, a redhead, which we can assume is her. All right, so that's a premonition unlocked. We, could, we can't really make out anything there other than she hides from a rock, whether that's a bad thing or a good thing. It's hard to tell, you know, who that, you know, if that's, if that's bad or not. Whoa. See, uh, this is kind of wonky here. The camera just sort of stays here. It sort of hangs here. Okay. But what fell was this. This is what fell. But unfortunately, like, the camera was really wonky there, so we couldn't, um, you know, get the, the jump scare needed. Interesting. Oh, wait. Never mind. Not as interesting. Okay. So, what I saw was... Um, I saw the wooden plank actually blocking the uh, the description here, which told me that, like, oh, we're, on, we're in different realities, or we're not, you know, following the same timeline. But it apparently was a glitch, because the moment I went to examine it, the plank is on the floor now. So... Never mind. Um, and then, does this change anything? Is it the same thing? Simon Carver? Yeah, it's just talking about the, um, the incident. And this is where the poppet was, and now it's gone. Which means someone took it. Yeah, so there's no enclosed hey, poppet. Hey, check this out. The enclosed poppet, or doll, is thought to have originally belonged to a child in the late 1600s. Creepy. Shit, wait, I got it. This missing doll has got to be the one I saw with the kid. You think? That's kind of weird. Kind of weird? This place is full on nightmare central. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. With you on that. All right, so let's move on. And as you can see, all the portraits have that, uh, I can't shine my light here. It's so wonky, hard to control. Um, okay, here we are. You can see that, okay, here we go. You can see that the, uh, you know, take care, the, the whole moving package thing is gone. So we're definitely behind, oh, I mean, this is even more evident here. We're definitely behind um, uh, John and Andrew. Come on, this way up. So whoever took the poppet took it fast enough that uh, we didn't notice. Probably was the incident with the uh, the shadow figure that um, Daniel saw. Oh, hello. Are things becoming any clearer for you? That thing, whatever it is, just keeps coming for Angela. Unrelenting. I do hope she's okay. Yeah, the knife was a mistake.
Another instrument of death mm -hmm. added to the group's collection. Yeah, it was a mistake. I didn't mean to pick that up. Good work. Let me help you out. Give you one little hint. So we're actually going to say no to this. Last time I said yes. And honestly, all he really said is everything we've already sort of talked about throughout this playthrough. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. No hint. Yeah, there's no new information we could learn from him, actually. Perhaps you think you can piece things together yourself. The stakes are much greater than life and death. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll leave you now with some wise words from a great Irish playwright I once met in uh, Paris, I believe. <clears throat> Never judge anyone shortly. Every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future. She's just a child. Let's speak again later. Looks like we've locked out here. Back on the road. The professor and the others can't be far. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. And with that, we will end this episode. I want to make sure this game doesn't crash and I have it and I don't replay this for a third time. Okay, thank you all for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Megan did nothing wrong.